All right, check this out. Breaking a world record is cool, but breaking a 38-year-old world record set by arguably the most famous Air Force pilot of all time, well, that is legendary. From one side of the Atlantic to the other, the story begins here in Michigan. It's like one big video game. Yep. 31-year-old pilot Phil Bozick from Brighton is now a world record holder, breaking the record of the first man to break the sound barrier, Mr. Chuck Yeager. One of my really good friends also owns a TBM, like what's behind us, and he calls me at 4 o'clock in the morning one morning and wakes me up, and he says, this is world record. New York to Paris, it was done by Charles Wimberg originally, and then Chuck Yeager. You want to do it? Sure, why not? They planned the flight for a full year and made adjustments to the plane to carry extra fuel. Imagine a telephone booth sideways, two guys are in it, we're in neoprene survival suits, we're strapped and we can't move. We have a 300 gallon fuel tank behind us. We're literally in our seats for the entire duration of the flight. After leaving New York City, two minutes after midnight, they landed in Paris at 2.38 p.m. local time. Eight hours, 38 minutes. What was the previous record? Uh, nine hours and 42 minutes. So you broke the record by how much? About an hour. He and co-pilot Dirk Ruder developed their own weather software to catch the jet stream. At first, we weren't sure if we were going to make it or not. All the flight planning, we had to literally follow a custom uh, flight path that we created using weather tracking software that we developed just to see if it would even work uh, to do this whole flight. And it wasn't until about halfway across the Atlantic where we're like, we're, we might do this. The logistics of the flight were immense, communicating with half a dozen countries along the way. But perhaps the most important question. What about the bathroom? Um, miraculously, and I don't know how we did this, we held it the entire time. So we didn't use a bathroom for eight hours and 38 minutes. However, getting to Paris was an absolute relief. Now, how can I possibly report on this story without first going up in his plane, the same model used in their flight? Just like when they broke the record, we flew over 400 miles an hour. Our trip taking us 50 minutes to get to Traverse City and back. What's next for these two record setters? So the next one with my buddy in Chicago, who we're gonna, who I did this with, we're gonna go around the world in 72 hours. No way! Yes. Is that a record? Or is that, that will be a record as well. Well, if you need a pilot, I have a little experience. Just like, just like 